um, was pregnant with her second child, who is now in his third year in the medical school at the University of Buffalo. Um, this is a tough one because we have found that this is a binational authority. There are over 728 authorities in the state of New York. Um, this one is very really powerful, um, very rich, and has a lot of, it wields a lot of political influence. Um, and I have learned that it seems to me, this is my personal opinion, that elected officials um, politically are better off to say yes to this authority uh, than to, to stand up and, and voice an opposition. Um, sometimes we find that they do wiggle quietly behind the scenes and we'll take anything we can get. Um, but to overtly have the political will uh, to stand up and do what's best for uh, the Niagara region in terms of four international crossings um, I don't think it's going to be, um, you're going to hear anybody stamping around and, and yelling, yes, we should change the system. So it's, it's real tough. It's, it's hard. Um, but we just have to keep doing it. We can't give up. change doesn't come from corporate leaders usually, it doesn't come from elected officials often, it comes from real people who, who come together and, and realize that their individual story is not just their experience, that it's part of a shared experience. Um, and, and what we try to do with the coalition is bring people together to build power to confront those institutions. Um, because that's, you know, in our experience, that's, that's how change happens. And that's why there were no, there were very few experts um, interviewed in our film. We had a couple voices of authority um, in there, but um, we really value people's experiences and that, that was an intentional decision that we made together, was to focus on people's stories and people's experiences and real people as opposed to experts. <coughs>
most uh, committed and strongest community groups and the ones that uh, communicate to us in the best way that they really uh, can use a film for their work. Um, and then we match them up. Um, and uh, the goal is uh, that community groups and filmmakers work closely together. And, and in some sense, we think of the community groups as the producers of the films because they have access to the issues, they know the issues better than anybody else. And the filmmaker comes with the expertise of uh, translating them into a visual language. And um, yeah, that's how it works. And the, the program goes, uh, starts in March and, and um, December. So it's a pretty tight timeline. Some of the filmmakers can probably tell you um, you have to work hard. But um, uh, then you have that film, which is, um, you know, can be invaluable if you use it. Yeah. Thank you. And make sure you're on our mailing list so that we can you know, contact you. Yeah. Are there other questions? Or? Oh, well, thanks everyone for coming. No.